Hi guys, this is Whitehead King, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a lens flare effect in Blender 2.58. Um, Alright, so, uh, a lot of people, what they'll do to make their lens flare, they would just go into Photoshop, but not today. I'm going to teach you how to do it in Blender, um, using the compositor and a couple of materials, but that really doesn't need to get in the way, because the materials are easy. Alright, so, um, what we're going to do is we're going to delete the cube, replace it with a UV sphere by pressing Shift A, going to Mesh, clicking UV sphere, and if you press S, we can just make it a lot smaller if you press uh, 1 on the D-pad, uh, it will then take us into front view, press Control Alt, number pad 0, and then our camera will just come to where we are. Um, it's even smaller. Just bring it up here where we can get a nice lens flare sort of effect. Uh, under the materials, we're going to make it... Well, under the emit, on the shading thing, under the materials, we're going to make it two. So we just got this great big white blob. Um, in the world, uh, options on the horizon colour, make that black so it stands out a bit more. And then render, and that's all we need to do. In fact, where's the lamp? I want it to go away. There we go. Um, so just render it again. There we go. So, now we're going to make this into a lens flare. In fact, hang on. I'm uh, just going to bring this down a bit just so some of the effects can just show a bit better. Okay. Now if we press Control left, it will just uh, take us to the compositor. Click Use Nodes uh, use nodes and Backdrop. And then uh, Shift A, Output Viewer. Put in, the render, whoa, put in the render layer to the viewer like that. And hopefully you can now see your blob. If you can't, then you've done something slightly wrong. And, uh, alright, so we're going to give these some effects to just make it look like a lens flare. Alright, so if we're shift day, uh, under filter, we're going to choose blur, make it fast Gaussian, set this to 100 by 100, and that just gives it a nice soft glow like that. Um, what we're also going to do is we're going to uh, go to filter again but this time we're going to choose glare uh, make sure that the image from the render layer thing is going straight into the image on the glare like that okay so now if you just put that into the viewer like that then we should hopefully see some glares happening here so under streaks we're going to choose six that will just give us six streaks and we're going to make the angle offset 50 or another kind of angle to make it just seem a bit more random and less computer generated and uh, from there we're just going to duplicate this glare uh, with the render layer make sure that the image is into uh, the new glare put this into the viewer like that so now we're seeing this glare again but where it says streaks we're just going to click on this and choose ghosts and then you can just about see where this lens flare is coming in uh, sort of hard to see I guess uh, but it's still there alright so now uh, we're just going to click here and choose color mix change it to add set the factor to one well it's not called factor and this is called fact but that basically means factor and uh, what this does if none of you know it, is you have the image that goes in here and you have the image that goes in here so that's the top and bottom what the factor does is it chooses how much the bottom one sort of shows up, uh, if that makes sense. Alright, so we're going to just add all of these together. So, glare 1 and glare 2, go into that one. We're now going to duplicate this, and in goes this new uh, image from our new add, and the blur. And that just goes into the same thing, so now this basically represents all of these all at once. So that's fun. And then it goes to the viewer, like that. And actually the lens flare isn't that bright, is it? So change the quality to high. If, if anything, I'll make it a bit darker, I think. And uh, just slightly. Um, yeah, I don't know why it's not so wide. Uh, oh, a bit, yeah. Okay, to make it a bit brighter, what we're going to do is... Um, because usually it's not this dark. Uh, we're just going to add some RGB curves, so go to color, RGB curve, uh, from the glare, put that into the image, that's the lens flare glare, 
and then put this RGB curve into the where well, where the glare went into the mix well the add node now anyway but into the mix okay so uh, just gonna click roughly in the middle of this line and just bring it up like that and it's now a lot brighter and a lot more awesome okay so that hopefully teaches you how to make a lens flare in Blender 2.58 um, I'm just going to move it slightly because it's looking a bit strange with these little uh, fall off things. In fact, I don't know if that would change anything. Uh, oh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so it's more into the scene now and it makes more fun effects. So you don't have to have it that right. Okay, about there. Alright, so now we've made a lens flare in Blender 2.58. Uh, it looks a bit strange when it's just got a black background, but when you've got a nice... Um, uh, how would you put it, a nice uh, scene for it, then it's going to look awesome. Alright, so thanks for watching. Uh, this has been Whitehead King teaching you how to make a lens flare in Blender 2.58. Uh, you can run around and show your friends that you're the best. And, uh, well, yeah, you know, have a bit of pride because you've made a lens flare. If you haven't, watch this tutorial again um, and try again. Um, but yeah, that's generally how to make a lens flare in Blender 2.58. Uh, I don't know why I'm just rambling on now. Um, Alright, so yeah, visit my website, follow me on Twitter, all that rubbish is in the description. So, thanks for watching, and goodbye. <laughs>